people had a lot of knowledge. We were taught to be humble. I think the, the importance of food was real strong. They lived off the land. They got everything they wanted to eat off the land here. Almost everything to eat is available around us. You could walk down the beach and get it. We barely utilized the store because we were brought up on uh, native food. God provided all its food on the land for us. My dad used to put up boxes. He always put up extra food. He'd put up boxes of food and make us walk the beach to deliver to the people that were hungry. They all loved to help one another. So my aunt and uncle used to sit down the dock here back in the day and they'd clean a couple, two, three hundred of these suckers and just, they would just go to town. I mean, it was just amazing. They would have like a bucket of hot water. They would um, sit there, one of them would be cutting and one of them would be putting it in the hot water because the hot water kind of makes them shrivel a bit and then you just rip it. Everybody has a different name in Southeast for these things. <laughs> I just call it Yanu. Our brothers up the road in Klawak call it um, Yane. So you just put your knife in, just kind of like a cockle and a clam, you know, you just dig down and get that, there's a little lip underneath there. Yeah, and you just got to get through that. We slice it. And then it's easier, then they're soft and tender, they're not hard like this. Like, okay, so that's the guts. Right? So that's the guts, yep. That's and the guts on the inside. Just go yep. In here. Yep. And then we have the shell, which we'll put over here. And then this is the usable meat part. Yep. So what you do now is after you cut it out of there, uh -huh. then you'll take and clean this off. Because this, this all comes off, and if you look underneath here, uh -huh. it's all really a nice white color. Oh, okay. So it just comes off. I see that. You can off. almost scrub it right yeah. there with your nail. Yeah. If you cut it up into chunks and then... Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because everybody kind of likes um, a little bit more flavor. So if you fry it, then it's, it lasts. We're pretty lucky. So when our ancestors founded Heidelberg, is because of the um, bounty of food that we have. The abalone and the clams and the cockles and the crabs and the fish and the deer and the bear and... Everything is just right here. We use it all. And it's ready. One, two, three, left. Nice and easy, guys.